because this is something that we can learn from what China and the China FECs went through. In, and actually, not just the FECs, but every player from Budweiser to, um, to Starbucks in, um, in China came out of this, right? And they're trying to get to, a, to, the, to normalcy or returning to normalcy now. And what they've observed in, in doing some introspection is that um, some, of the, some of the digital campaigns that they ran um, during the lockdown in China have now become sustainable revenue models that they have after this pandemic, um, as well as some of the digital campaigns and focusing on omni channels to be able to drive their brand message. Also the messages about safety and hygiene, which is something actually that they are very focused on as well, as well as uh, payments and uh, the reduction of that interpersonal um, interaction to minimize um, if you will, any further virus transmission in the form of, of a variety of, of digital payments. So I am very, you know, yeah. But you know, the, we are working in the hospitality industry, right? Yes. You know, and hospitality, you know, another form of describing or define hospitality is social interaction, you know? Yes. So, uh, so, you know, why, why technology really can create a convenient lifestyle where you don't actually have to socially engage and you get everything you want right uh, i i believe it goes you know and uh, of course in a in a time of social distancing hospitality industry is the one who suffers most you know yeah. in the uh, we heard just now 13.8 million job losses in the u.s are all in the hospitality and leisure industry yeah okay. so, uh, it's pretty much the same in every country you would say yes but the uh, you know, uh, our human spirit, our human resolve has certainly not been created in isolation. It was a result of humanity, people coming together, <clears throat> enjoying and discussing things together. So we, we shouldn't lose sight of that. We have to, things, things will change. So uh, the preventative nature of creating clean, safe, hygienic customer spaces will stay with us for quite some time. You know, and we have to all wake up to that reality. That's right. But we also should be, in my view, we also should be ambassadors for social interaction because on the end of the day, it is how we all made. It's yeah. True. yeah. So, and uh, uh, so where can you go? And in the Middle East, you know, we have this summer ahead of us. You will have 50 degrees outside temperature. You know, where to, if the, <laughs> The lockdown, and we all hope it will yes. uh, be finished fairly soon. Is uh, what? How do people socially interact? And I want them to come to a indoor family entertainment center because they feel they can interact because they know uh, that we check people's temperatures before they allow entry. Yes. Uh, they know we have a strict cleaning regime. They know that our staff are all vetted and wearing personal protective equipment or gear. So, uh, but let's not uh, shy away from creating the opportunities for social interaction in a safe and, and proper way, so to speak. Yeah? Yes, absolutely.